What's up guys, I'm Zach, welcome back to another video. Now this video here today is a quite special one to me, purely because anyone who's been sticking around my channel for quite a while now would know that my channel is pretty much founded on represent unboxings, reviews, looking at their newest collection and a ton of different represent sneaker silhouettes. Now I have taken a little bit of a hiatus from the brand for the last few months, however we are back today to check out the collaboration between Metallica and represent. Now, this capsule collection was what really drew me in, particularly after I watched the Behind the Brand series from Represent's actual YouTube channel, where Mike sort of delves into a little bit more of the details around the garments, from the fit, the fabric, and to the actual printing of each piece, which was super interesting to see from a consumer point of view, and really allows you to sort of appreciate the garments a little bit more for what they are. However, with that being said, it's time to delve in, give my own opinion, show you the pieces on body and give you the actual fit from a consumer's perspective once again. With that being said, we're going to delve into the long sleeve straight away, looking at the white long sleeve t-shirt right here. And I've got to say, I am so in love with these pieces. Now, Represent really killed these garments and I'll get into a few details why as we go on, but straight off the bat, just the look of it on body, absolutely incredible. As you can see, we've got the World Tour local crew there on the back. You have also got some printing on the sleeves as well, as you can see, local crew there. And we do have the Represent Metallica emblem, basically, as you could say, right there, as it is sort of like an R that is crossed around the garment there. As you can see, Metallica Represent on the front. Super, super nice. Love the details on this one. Very, very basic in terms of design however it's just been executed perfectly honestly in my opinion right down to what i would say is my favorite sort of detail about these garments that we're going to be looking at and that is the actual fabric used throughout now replicating a vintage fabric i don't think i've ever really picked up a garment that's come close to a vintage feel other than perhaps like a luke vicious tee if anyone has ever checked out luke vicious definitely check him out there Regardless, getting into the tee, it is very lightweight. It feels like it almost has like a light enzyme wash throughout. The weight of the actual garment is super, super light. I'm hopefully going to be able to show you how see-through the actual garment is there, as you can see. And that's just because it's so, so light to the touch. And it also has the fluffing of what you find on a vintage tee. I, I know it's a little bit weird of a, an element to sort of point out here. And hopefully, if I bring it up close... Just as you can see towards the end of the fabric, you do have this almost fluff sort of herring come up because it's so soft and the way this just fits on body, I love. As you can see right there, it just flows beautifully down. It's a little bit cropped, not too much cropped here, uh, a little bit boxy, a little bit oversized. However, I would say compared to most representees that I've picked up in the past, this is a little bit more on the just sort of loose fitting side less than an oversized type of fit. So I would recommend if you guys want a little bit more of an oversized fit as probably I would say I would like, I would recommend going one size up. However, if you just sort of after that loose fit, especially the photos that George and Mike would have posted with them wearing the tees, if you want that sort of fit, just stick your true to size and that will fit perfectly for you. Regardless, all items in this video today are gonna be a size large. And for reference, I am six foot tall, 182 centimeters and around 85 86 kilos at the moment so super super in love with this piece super simple super nice and as you can see one more detail on this piece before we move on is you can just see hopefully with the graphic there it's just got a bit of light cracking throughout which once again just means they've executed that vintage element just perfectly it's not overdone it's not everywhere it's, it's just done so fantastically well getting into the next long sleeve this one, I would say, oh, I would say this is this is toe to toe for first place, my favorite piece. And it's funny because I picked up these two long sleeves after the drop as just sort of, you know, okay, the pieces are all right. I, I might wear them here and there, so I'll pick them up. However, I've fallen in love with the long sleeves probably a little bit more than the other pieces. However, we will get into those later. Looking at this one, we have got the birth school metallica rock t-shirt there with the printing on the front and the back quite large as you can see now the only reason i don't think i'll be able to keep this one unfortunately is because i come from a quite a christian household so i don't think having death on the back of my t-shirt will go too kindly with my parents so 
I'm just being honest with you guys. <laughs> I probably won't be keeping this one. However, this is, as I said, it's tied for my favorite piece in the collection. And I just love that graphic there. As you can see, Metallica represent. And they've also used on this garment. And hopefully, if I bring it a little bit closer to camera, you might be able to see that the graphic is printed almost slightly elevated above the actual fabric almost like a puff print however it's very very subtle but it does allow to give a little bit more texture to the garment once again i feel like they've just executed this one perfectly you can see the light distressing towards the top of the teeth there nothing too insane once again i feel like they've executed this one perfectly you have got printing on the sleeves as well very very tastefully done and you have also got that classic sort of represent tag that is known for a lot of their t-shirts and is that metal tab towards the bottom there. And once again, as I said, the quality on these garments is just insane. Super, super, super lightweight in terms of the material. Hopefully you can sort of see it's a little bit see-through there because it's so lightweight in fabric. And I will say this wash is definitely probably the best vintage wash that I've seen out there. And that's going to be a testament to this collection that I feel like I would say I don't think I've ever found vintage garments be recreated so perfectly. Right down to the, like the material is what is really shocking me here. And you guys have to check out the Behind the Brand series from Represent. Super insightful, super interesting to see. And this vintage black here, it almost has like a sun fade to it. Once again, love this one. There's a reason it's tied for my favorite. Details executed perfectly. Getting into the next garment. Now, this is the one I feel like everyone would typically be after from a Metallica collaboration. However, this actually turned out to be my least favorite. That's not saying I don't like it by any means whatsoever. It's just saying that I, I'm surprised, honestly, that I, I wasn't as huge of a fan as I was when I first saw it online. And of course, that is the Ride the Lightning tee right there, which has been recreated. I love the fact that they've gone really big with this graphic print right here. Very, very nice on the front. Of course, same details there. Bit of distressing towards the hem and the collar there. And you have also got 40 years of Ride the Lightning as a patch towards the bottom, which was super, super interesting. Super, super nice. That represent included there, as you can see. Just another premium detail that really adds to the collaboration. And on the backing, you have got the represent graphic, which has been recreated in that Metallica font, hand painted cracking throughout the garment once again and you have actually got an extra detail there as one of the band members has passed away you do have his hand sort of coming out of the grave there super super interesting really do love this one i still do like it however i feel like i used to wear an old metallica t-shirt from ride the lightning which you can see here i pretty much wore it to death and i feel like i'm so attached to that t-shirt even though i've sold it now because it got to the point where everyone would be like do you own any other t-shirts so i did let it go Biggest regret of mine, however, I loved that t-shirt so much, so it's hard for me to sort of find a replacement for that, even though this has been recreated perfectly. Honestly, the tee I really wanted was the white variation of this one. I feel like that was, ins that was so incredibly well done. That was beautiful. However, by the time I got online, went to the checkout, had a few checkout issues, couldn't get the size large, and then I held back on the extra large thinking it would be too big, which... Looking back, it would have fit oversized perfectly how I would have liked it. Didn't pick it up, sold out, and now that tee is completely gone. I don't blame anyone because that tee was incredible, and I would have gone for it first as I did as anyone else would have. Getting into what I would say is my second favorite tee from this collaboration, and this one is just another basic one. We do have the World Tour graphic here and the local crew towards the back there. Once again, very similar as the white long sleeve. Same printing pretty much throughout this garment. However, just so simple. Love the fact that you've got that Metallica branding there and represent. Super, super well done. There's nothing really much to say on this one other than, of course, you've got that incredible wash throughout. Super, super nice again with this wash. This black wash is incredible. Just very wearable, honestly, in my opinion. I feel like this one out of the bunch, as much as I love all the other pieces, this one probably would be getting the most wear, so I will be keeping this one in my wardrobe rotation without doubt, especially for how lightweight it is and how hot it can get in Australia here. Definitely keeping that one. Getting into the last and final piece, I saved the best for last, and I feel like everyone knows what tea is coming up because this one was done incredibly. Just looking at it now, I'm, I'm in love with it. Right here, 
this t-shirt head to toe incredible from the cracking the graphic from the point to the the print is pretty much nearly completely faded away there however you can still sort of see the metallica graphic coming through so tastefully done and i know uh, Mike had actually recreated this from an old vintage piece that he picked up which had the exact same design on it Super incredible piece which would be worth hun Hundreds and hundreds if not thousands and that t-shirt was incredible and I, I loved the fact that they've recreated it because When it comes to sort of you know Metallica merch or collaborations with bands They don't really take it to the extreme of recreating a vintage tee. They might throw on the graphic, which is found on like vintage tees. However, it never has that vintage feel, especially the feel that you get with this one. And then moving it to the back, got that same print there, except the Metallica logo is replaced with the Represent logo right there. Very tastefully done there. Super, super nice. I love the fact that they even went down to the detailing on the sleeves there, which honestly... It looks incredible. A super, super well all over print t-shirt done there, as you can see. The quality, just looking at the printing, I wanna give you a bit of a close up on this one, especially, because this one is done so well, honestly. Head to toe, definitely my favorite t-shirt from the collaboration. Represent, I've just gotta give you a, a round of applause right now because I just have never seen Represent recreate vintage tees or, or even make their own vintage style tees as they have made these ones. I'm really hoping that the fabric and the blanks that they used for this new iteration, for this collaboration, they will be using for another blank range because I feel like the fill it, because I feel like the fit, the quality, the wash on those t-shirts and long sleeves absolutely executed perfectly. I would say is the best drop in terms of represent products in terms of quality in a in a long time and i love their blanks range i love their initial collection however that fabric right there is the only fabric i want to be wearing in the future so, so represent please bring out a blanks range which i believe they may be sort of teasing on the instagram here hopefully we will see that in the future regardless guys if you enjoyed these pieces let me know down below what was your favorite piece from this collection and if you guys are enjoying the videos feel free to drop a like down below it's the best way of letting me know that you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more content from me in the future with that being said once again i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope to see you in the next one see ya